a woman had a dream and she went to her pastor. She said, Pastor, I've had a dream. It really troubles me. Oh, please, Pastor, please help me. I, I keep having this dream. I have the same thing again and again and again, and it's beginning to hurt. Tell me your dream, said the pastor. Well, it's like this, Pastor. I, I, I'm living in my dream. I'm living in a bubble. And uh, along comes some illness, and the illness can't get into the bubble until a voice says, OK, you can pass, and then I'm ill. And then I'm, I'm living in, in a bubble, p Pastor, and th this, there's someone saying spiteful things about me, horrible things about me, but they can't hurt me until the voice says, OK, you can pass, and, and then they hurt me. And, and Pastor, it's like this, that uh, there's an accident coming along, or, or, or a burglary, or unemployment, or, or a bereavement, or something indescribably awful. But it, it can't get to me, Pastor, and, unless the voice says, OK, you can pass, and then it happens to me. Pastor, please explain the dream. And he said, it's not a dream. Is it? Nothing, 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 nothing can touch you without the express permission of the ever-present God who says, okay, you can pass. I live my whole life. You live the whole of your life, Christian, protected by the fatherly presence of God. You and I should be the happiest people in the world. But we fall and we fail, don't we? But that's not the end of the story. I came out of the prayer meeting one night and it was a terrible, terrible night and it was just a short walk to where I lived and it was pouring with rain and the wind was blowing and I walked along the street hoping to get through the doors and then there was the sound of brakes and a horrible thud and a woman lay bleeding in the middle of the road and to my amazement within a moment there was a crowd around her and they were saying, we've sent for the ambulance, hold on, don't give up helps on the way, and she died. And I thought, it's never like that in the Christian life. We have our collisions and our calamities and our falls and our failures and the moments when we're really as low as it can possibly be, and no one ever has to say to us, helps on the way, because my Bible and yours says, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. This excerpt is from the full sermon, God is not far from each one of us, preached at the 2024 Fellowship Conference.